Greetings, I'm Jonathan, Polygon Flow's Community Director for Dash, our next-gen plugin for Unreal Engine that makes creating environments a total breeze. In this video, I'm going to go over the Camera Tool, one of many new tools that we've updated and upgraded for Dash 1.3, the latest release as of this video. Let's dive into it and see what it can do. I'll use a pre-made environment that I've already created for this scene, with a lot of Dash-placed foliage that will make it easier to showcase how the camera system works in Unreal. So let's start by opening Dash, and then type Camera into the prompt bar. This will create a camera, and automatically pops up the Options menu to adjust settings within it. Now let's start with the camera tool itself. Focal length determines the zoom of the lens, which is how close the subject of the camera will appear in the viewport. The larger the focal length, the more the camera zooms in. Aperture controls the size of the camera lens. Low aperture values decrease the depth of field, which is the range at which the image can be in focus. A larger aperture is a smaller number. A smaller aperture is a larger number. Aperture combined with focal length largely determines the depth of field of a given scene. High focal lengths with large aperture values create strong depth of field, while low focal lengths with small apertures create pin-sharp images. If you've got real-world photography experience, the Dash camera system should be easy to understand. If you don't normally use SLR-style cameras, though, you should definitely play around with these settings and see exactly how they operate. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Exposure will adjust the overall brightness or darkness of the camera view. High exposure values brighten the image while low or negative values will darken it. Unreal and Dash, by extension, both use a camera setup that mimic real-world cameras. But there's more to the camera tool in Dash. You can also control lens distortion as well, and invert it with a single checkbox. Additionally, Dash makes it easy to adjust the sensor width and height, which translates to the aspect ratio of the rendered images that you'll capture with the camera. This makes fine-tuning your render aspect super easy to do. Dash also allows you to cycle through a variety of preset LUTs for color grading by pressing the Shuffle Grading Presets button. You can also adjust the intensity of the color grading by using the Grading Intensity slider option. 0.5 is a good value, but you might find higher or lower values to suit your personal preferences. Bloom controls the lens artifacts, which are caused by overexposed light. This can quickly get excessive, so small touches of it can add great realism to your environment. Just be careful not to overdo it. Vignette controls the brightness of the camera image at the edges of the frame, which is useful for highlighting a subject that you framed. Film grain mimics old-style SLR film cameras. Different film speeds produce different types and scales of grain. You can emulate this using the Film Grain and Film Grain Scale options in Dash. Detail Strength brings out the shadows and highlights of the camera. Higher values will produce a stronger effect. While Sharpen is pretty self-explanatory in that it sharpens the resulting camera image in Unreal, you can use it to create much more interesting visual effects inside of the engine. Fringe creates the lens defect known as chromatic aberration, which is the fringe of color that appears alongside the edge of dark and light parts of the image inside of the camera viewport. You can also color correct in Dash using hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, and temperature controls as well. There's also options for outlining the environment, which creates a black, stylized effect that you can adjust to your preferences. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jonathan, Community Director for Dash, and we really appreciate you. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you guys again next time.